I love uh, Arnold impersonations because, you know, half of the time they're cartoony and half the time they're good, but no matter which one is, everybody will just do the random vocalizations that I've never actually heard him do that much. Just the, like the Arnold stroke noises. Have you seen Hercules in New York? <laughs> I'm like 100% confident Hercules in New York. Has that. He does. <laughs> well, you told me to show you. Oh, forgive me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. Oh, you just licked me out. Oh, I told you I was sorry. I, I didn't mean to laugh. But you did. You think I'm funny, huh? You think I'm funny. Oh, you got to admit. I mean, when you do that, you look like some big ape or something. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing. Did you understand one word he said I, at the end? No, <laughs> I, I, I didn't understand much of that. <laughs>Hey guys, Greg Alby here. Jonald. I mean, uh, whoever does their arms uh, first. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you, uh, we know how it goes. We're in the same shit I wore yesterday because I'm getting back from the gym. All sweaty and professional for the camera. Definitely. <laughs> we are the laziest form of entertainment. Am I right? Right. <laughs> I'm going to go cover myself in mud. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Predator jokes. We're going to watch the honest trailers for 1987's Predator, a movie I recently re visited and a movie i should revisit before we see the new film on thursday which by the way is getting tremendous all reviews. the reviews uh, yeah <laughs> reviews are definitely happening <laughs> yeah looks like my theories about that movie having a lot of humor they were hiding <laughs> very true <laughs> yeah mm. todd listen <laughs> From the Michael Bay of the 80s. But better. <laughs> yeah, good, he was. The best action. <laughs> yeah, he really was. The best horror. Yeah. And the best handshake in all of human history. <laughs> you son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> so does anyone else go to the every time they watch that? Men to this day still do that. Yeah. Deep in the heart of this one the Central American jungle, where no one can hear you sweat profusely. <laughs> See, you're for, you're perfect. <laughs> Serious hunting men for sport, and that something would have been an awesome mystery if they didn't show a spaceship in the first scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's an alien. Those eyes there, they disappeared. Yep, alien saw the ship. There's something out there waiting for us. It ain't no man. Okay, fine. I'll do what YouTube comments do. Movie starts at 1 minute 29 seconds. <laughs> to an elite squad of assassins. <laughs> we are rescued him. Not assassins. Uh-huh. Yeah. Stick around. There's Best Billy, line. the Best jacked up macho Native American. Blaine, the jacked up macho redneck. Mac and Dylan, the jacked up macho black guys. <laughs> the jacked up macho Latino. Hawkins, the screenwriter they wanted on set for Punch Up. And their leader, Dutch, a jacked up badass cigar chomping Kevin McAllister. <laughs> I never thought about that. Yeah. Whoa! He does build hella traps. Oh, dude. <laughs> I did yeah. not know that. <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal. Yeah, uh, thrill. <laughs> the ultimate. Really got it. John Claude Van Damme <laughs> in a stupid lobster costume. That would have been way that better. Happened. But once he got oh. fired, they went up against the real ultimate enemy, the Predator. A perfect mix of awesome creature design, S&M mesh bodysuit, <laughs> and Vincent Price laugh. That's my favorite laugh. Who uses advanced technology to hunt the equivalent of fish in a barrel. Ooh. Yeah, I guess he's less cool when you realize he's like those yuppies who shoot giraffes with a sniper rifle. E so before you see yeah. the Predator, revisit the Predator that's never been improved on in its sequel. <laughs> it's in theaters today because it's aged so well. Bunch of sweat, John uh, mostly well, because in an action Such horror movie this good, with so many iconic <laughs> lines, I ain't got time to breathe. Uh, you one ugly motherfucker. Get to the chopper! And 
such an iconic movie monster, you'll barely even notice that half the film is just quietly looking at trees. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> You can cross this over with the happening. <laughs> wow. There's something in those trees. <laughs> <laughs> Starring cool. the future governor of California, the future governor of Minnesota, what? a future candidate for governor of Kentucky. What? Okay, this is getting weird. Baby, you've got a stew going. Dude, moisturize. The director of Iron shaving. Man 3. <laughs> and I gotta get to uh. the job of my skull, my back, my trophy <laughs> in my pack, and the end credits that make Just the movie look like a 90s sitcom. I never understood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I love how Arnold was the only one who didn't shoot one of these they just took an actual part of the movie but everyone else did this <laughs> Austria versus Predator Austria, Austria. <laughs> my man on is expendable uh, you changed Arnold you changed uh, there's nothing sadder than an empty pizza box Dylan you son of a bitch 10-4 <laughs> good buddy you have failed me for the last time, Admiral. Get to the chopper! <laughs> Good job, John Bailey. Yeah. Good job, Otis Trailers. I love Emmy the... nominated. Emmy nominated, man. Writers, man. Uh. You know, I thought about what they're talking about with the opening, with the alien <laughs> coming in. It's like the uh, thing. Well, the the thing is, oh, uh -huh. I think it would have been very jarring if suddenly there was like an alien. It, it, it's like it could have worked, but I, I don't know if at that time it would have worked. And I don't know how like test screenings or, or whatever would have worked back then, but I almost wonder if that was something that they added to make it a little more cohesive or something. Yeah, it's cause... like you have this tease opening image, and then after a while you completely forget about the front. I think you, I think you do. So you feel like you're just watching like the guerrilla army just just skinning these people and stuff like you, that that's what they play it like they play it like it's an actual war zone movie and then halfway through it turns into like a sci-fi slasher movie i think that's neat but i feel like at that time it would have been very jarring i mean it kind of makes me think of From for Dust Dustle dawn, dawn yeah. where that's very jarring but i think for that time that worked but at this i don't know in the 1980s i think i would have been like, people what the didn't hell? like <laughs> surprises in the 80s <laughs> you still didn't know what it was though Back yeah, then, yeah it's you, all you saw was an eight yeah. a spaceship and then something launched from it which is a really cool shot i think it's a good opening shot yeah yeah it builds the intrigue definitely i never uh, put much mind to the idea that so much of the movie is just people staring into trees but <laughs> just an incredibly pertinent point you need yeah. that because you never need that watched. to build <laughs> tension yeah. and you need those reactions and stuff stuff like that i just yeah it's those things that you don't think about until they're removed from the overall context <laughs> i actually really appreciated when they had the jesse ventura line when he says uh the f word for gay people bunch of slack jawed f around here i showed this movie to my girlfriend recently and she had never watched this movie before one of the things i was saying to her was like this movie holds up really well baby oh no <laughs> when the way they they pointed out that line i i forgot about that line and she even I was like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, ah, I forgot about that part. Yeah, yeah, there's always one or two that slip by. <laughs> At the same time, though, you know, when, you, when you're thinking about, like, these these kind of rescue team mercenary-like men, it, it, it still fits with the character as to an, use that line. Yeah. An, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and as an action horror movie, I mean, all the production values and all the all the pulp and stuff holds up yeah. for sure. Yeah, there are they're, they're going to be some off-color lines here and there, I feel like. Anytime you get, like, meatheads together and it's before 2000. You know what's funny about the Native American guy who plays Billy? His stand-up routine? Yeah, man. <laughs> He's secretly a great comic, and they cut out all his jokes. Easter egg on Shane the Shane Black took all the jokes. I was going down to my girlfriend. I said to her, Jace, you got a big pussy. Jace, you got a big pussy. She said, why did you say that twice? And I said I didn't. See, it's because of the echo. Where the... <laughs> <laughs> If you go to his IMDb, he plays the character of Billy. <laughs> I guess that's just what you call Native American guys back then. 48 Hours plays Billy Bear, Hancastle and McCormick, Sheriff Billy Blackstone, Predator, 
Billy. Billy Lone Bear. Billy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like that Hispanic actor who always plays Hector. Hector. Yeah. I think their best bit here, their best comedy bit, is definitely the comparisons to Home Alone. That was. You remember spot how many on. traps he built? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that was like, spot on. And, you know, when I was watching this movie back, I was kind of wondering how Arnold was. He got so much done in that day. <laughs> you know. no. <laughs> he does so many elaborate things that would have been so time consuming if you had a crew. He's like making yeah. so much noise. How is he not found by the predator in all that time? <laughs> He's like building these crazy elaborate traps and weapons. <laughs> he builds himself a bow and arrow that, that explodes. <laughs> You know, a little, little mud goes a long way. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to look that up because I, I've heard that that is uh, really stupid. Mud would not cover up uh, your heat signature. Yeah, they couldn't see me. Yeah, it's not that cold. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I can't imagine it would work for very long if it worked at all because eventually your body heat would room yeah. temperaturize <laughs> it at, at the very least, and then it can see you again. Why is Mac uh, always shaving in this movie? I, that's, that's a weird tick. I feel like that's a badass trope. It's just like one guy's always shaving. What I love about the guy Mac is he's he. I think he does a really good job. The thing is, he also seems like he's in a different movie. I, I he seemed like the mm. the one actor who who probably went method on this. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna leave it all on the table. Yeah. This is my big shot. Like when he's going after the predator, and he's like, I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. You're more committed than everyone else in this movie, aren't you? Man, yeah. But you gotta, you gotta appreciate. I always appreciate that guy among the cats. Whenever you have one guy who's clearly taking it more seriously yeah. than everybody, I'm like, hey, at least nobody can accuse you of not doing your job. <laughs> that end credit scene is <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that, bewildering. That was my exact comment when I watched it back. It's a sitcom. Why is it a sitcom? And yeah. What I love though is. Every, Shane Black's main. Everyone movie. does the sitcom part except Arnold. Arnold, they took an actual moment from the scene and, and just threw him in there at the end. Maybe they pitched him the idea. And he's like, I'm not, I'm not doing Stupid. that. Stupid. I'm not doing this. <laughs> just use the scene from the movie. All right, guys. Well, thanks on trailers. We got our tickets for Predator on IMAX. Ooh. Money well spent. You could uh, follow us on here by subscribing and clicking bells. And check us out on Patreon, where we got TV show reactions and Q&As. Good day, mate! Ah!